What is going on guys, hope you're having a lovely day today and anyway guys we're going to kick it off in the video today with another episode of Let's Talk F1 or the F1 newsstand which I'm trying to call its name to and um, I haven't done one of these in a while and I looked on YouTube the other day and it's, mo it's one of my popular videos <coughs> sorry about that, I got a bit of a cold um, so sorry about that um, yeah anyway, um, yeah, it's been one of my popular videos on the channel and I haven't done one in quite a while so I just thought Hang on a minute, there's quite a few, few bits of um, news articles to talk about, so why not make a new video and talk about them? So, the first news stand we're going to talk about is um, Rosberg demoted to third place in the British Grand Prix. Alright, so a little um, summary of the race. Um, pretty much Hamilton won the Grand Prix from Rosberg, from Verstappen. <clears throat> but during the race, I think um, a couple of laps towards the end... Um, Rosberg um, had a gearbox issue and um, he didn't know how to resolve it and that resulted in him blabbing on to the radio of his team um, how to reset his gearbox. So um, the team straight off got to it, uh, got back to him and said um, what, what he had to do to resolve the problem <clears throat> and um, told him that he had no driving uh, seventh, seventh gear so he had to skip it. And that goes against the FIA regulations of... Um, you're not allowed to um, tell any um, misinformation that driver doesn't that driver doesn't uh, know or understand uh, of his own knowledge. So um, yeah, so that caused a lot of controversy after the race um, uh, because um, Mercedes thought that Rosberg did not break the rule. Well, they did not feel they broke the rule, but obviously <clears throat> the FIA um, obviously um, fought the other other side and said. Yeah, you did break the rule, and we're giving you a 10-second penalty. So that um, resulted in Rosberg being demoted to third place, and Verstappen um, being promoted up to second place, which um, now closed down the championship to one point, one point behind what Lewis is now one point behind Rosberg. So, oh dear, but yeah, I guess um, the team had to do that to keep Rosberg's car going. Now Hamilton would have taken the championship lead. Hmm. So um, then that caused a lot of controversy again at Mercedes because um, Hamilton obviously um, had a, um, uh, I'm not sure what his problem was, but in Baku he had, um, he had an issue, I, I can't remember what it was, but um, he was losing drive and I, don't know, I, don't know, I think it was like an engine issue or something like that, I'm not quite sure, but um, that could have resulted in um, Hamilton having a reliability issue, but the team didn't tell him then and... Hamilton wasn't actually that far um, behind um, the car, like a couple of cars in front that he could have overtaken. And if he got a 10-second uh, penalty, if the t team told him how to resolve the problem, then um, yeah, he would have gained a couple more points due to even if he got a penalty. So um, yeah, I would, I would imagine Hamilton's a bit um, annoyed about that one in a way. But um, yeah, we can move on then. Um, so the second news story is all going to be about um, Rebel's Halo uh, uh, wing in um, Silverstone. So um, if you don't know, um, testing's going on. Um, yeah, t testing's going on, and um, pretty much Rebel are running a new um, Halo design nose um, for testing. Um, they're doing quite a bit of running with that Halo nose. I don't, don't understand why, because it's not a, a massive, huge benefit if you gain a couple of like um I don't know the designs of the halos but I guess they're um just testing it out so, cuz they could gain maybe a little bit of a advantage over the rest of the field but um yeah I don't really like the look of the halo and I don't I don't know if it's true but there's been speculation that the FA are planning to ditch the halo just because it's not it just doesn't feel like um F1 really anymore which is um which is what I agree with in a way, because um, it doesn't it doesn't look really attractive in a way, and I I know it would um, promote and help safety and all that, but it's not open wheel racing really. You're kind of closed in in a way now, aren't you? If you put the halo on on top or whatever. Um, now the third news story is um, about Stoffel Van Dorn. He believes that for 2017 he could be driving for McLaren. Uh, in a way, Stoffel, 
I can see you driving for McLaren, but I think you're going to have to really... It's going to be a tough challenge because with Jensen Button being pretty in pretty good form at the minute and Fernando Alonso, not he's not in form as, as much as Jensen Button, but he he's he's consistent and I don't think McLaren, the amount of money they pay for Alonso, they're not going to ditch him for Stoffel Van Dorn. I can just can't see that. But Button, on the other hand, I don't... He's in form, and if he carries this on for the rest of the season, then I can't see Stoffel Van Dorn jumping into McLaren for 2017. But if um, there's always a chance JB can actually um, slip off the pace and um, yeah, just slip off the pace, and um, that opens the door for Stoffel Van Dorn, and maybe he can get a shot in McLaren because he did. Um, if you watch the Bahrain Grand Prix, he actually did a really good job and scored his first um, points and. Jensen Button didn't even score any points up to that race. So, um, yeah, Stoffel winning his first race for McLaren in, the, uh, in Bahrain um, scored one point, which was pretty sick, to be fair. Um, with a track that McLaren's not exactly very strong at. But, um, yeah, so... Um, Stoffel, yeah, I can... I would like to see him in the McLaren for next season. I think it'll bring a nice... Uh, fresh new junctions to the grid next season instead of um, Jensen Button. I think he's like 37 now or something like that. Yeah, he's get, he's getting old. Stoffel Van Dorn's about 21, 22. So yeah, it'd be nice to see some fresh legs um, open up. And he's quite talented. He's won the GP2 um, championship. So and he won it by quite a margin. So um, yeah, it would be nice to see Stoffel Van Dorn um, driving um, the McLaren for next season. But Time will tell if Jensen Button feels um, if it's time to hang up his boots and or whatnot. I, I don't really understand. So um, yeah, it's up to him. And um, I think that's the rest of the news story I've got for you guys. So um, well, thank you for watching the video, anyway, and I'll um, most probably um, speak to you in the um, next video. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but I'll try and get it out as soon as possible. Um, probably in the next I hope to get it out in the next two days or so but um, as we just said time will tell and um, yeah guys um, be sure to like subscribe and um, comment of any um, other content you like to see in the channel and yeah that's pretty much it so um, thank you guys and I'll see you next video cheers Mercedes have won today's race and what